Good morning folks, Catherine here, your on the spot reporter. It's um, oh it's about 10.30am and it's Monday the 14th of December 2020. Um, we've got here a uh, Morgan, which is uh, obviously in Christchurch a very rare car. I mean there were never a hell of a lot of them, I believe they were hand built. I'm not sure, I think most of them were four cylinders but there were a few V8s. Um, uh, probably be able to look up the registration details when they get home on the computer but um, it's a chalk mark on the tyre I guess it's a, I think it's a 90 minutes parking here so hopefully the guy will be back from his shopping yeah we're here at the South City Mall and it's it's nice uh, it's it's clearly well loved um, I mean they had the same very similar design with just some updating for oh what since 1940s through to the 1990s or so so we see this one's a, a cloth top, which is folded down. I'm assuming it's a real one, because it does have a Morgan badge on the rear. But it's, uh, I thought it was an MG, when I was walking at it from a distance, I thought it was an MG, the early MG, and then when I, when I saw it only had one spare tyre. I, I know the early MG's got two spare tyres, if I recall correctly. So, um, but no, it looks in, they genuine knock-off wheels. Knock, knock off, not not in pirate copies, but uh, knock ons, knock offs. The uh, single wheel hub uh, nut, and you're supposed to have a wooden mallet to use it, and not hit it with a hammer. Some people hit them with a hammer, and they've got uh, marks all in the metalwork. We enjoy the uh, alarm ringing in my bag to remind me of something else. Those are. Uh, those knock-on, knock-off nuts actually look in very good condition. Um, so careful people carry a wooden mallet in the vehicle with them. But there we go, a nice Morgan in uh, well-loved and well-used condition. And hopefully bringing the owner a great deal of uh, joy in its use. What you see in Christchurch at the shopping mall, folks. That's all for now. Cheerio.